deep in the shadows I know it's hard To put one foot in front of the other ah, So far is the echo Where do we start? A ukulele to discover A million stars Here in the shadows I know you're scared Take my hand together, we'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find our words to say No more hate Just admit that you're just afraid Time to let go of all your feet time to go pick up a chicken in the yard and pluck it and prepare it for the recipe as you saw in the previous curry chicken as I also mentioned those chicken were red and corn and no artificial feeds these types of chicken tend to be really really tough so you can't cook it like you would cook a normal white pole as you would normally call them these types of chicken are really really tough so you want to take your time and cook this you don't necessarily need coconut but coconut help take away that kind of wildish taste that they have so but it's really good and it's a healthy way to eat chicken because you know what these chicken have been eating you know they have been eating just the simple corn that you have been giving to them no factory food nothing with any type of stuff to increase their size and no chemicals whatsoever they eat pure corn and they they pick mangoes off the tree fruits in the yard they would eat no matter what fruits it is and yes you know what you're eating real healthy stuff so now let's get on with today's video explain to you all what it is we just did in the yard right so what we just did was so as you all see in the previous clip I have some cassava with leaves and I have some sticks replanted okay so those that you saw in the intro with the sticks there what I just did there was some of those sticks that I planted about about a week and something ago and the one with the flowers was planted exactly two weeks ago right all right so i am going to plant i plant those i just wanted to show you all the process because one of my subscribers asked me to sh to um make a video about how i planted and all that and she wanted to know about salts and all that i don't use those types of things in my plants um the dirt that God bless me with is what is used. I don't use anything else. So um, just the earth that the good Lord provided. And but if I'm not getting too much rain, I would wet them. But you know, you don't really need to. Cassava would go in the most driest of places. So you just want to keep the bottom there very cool. You know? So... Yeah, I don't use any sauce and that is how I plant them and soon you will see the leaves and you want to plant them with that knob that you I was showing you, you want that knob to be up and so if this is the end here that you just remove from the ground in the previous um, harvesting of your cassava you don't want to use that same end, you want to turn it over and use the opposite side to put back in your ground and replant and then you're going to get rid of that but that's what I would do I would get rid of it after so after I turn it around this time after harvesting the last crop so I turn across the other end and after that is finished I am no longer going to use that again all right so that is how it uh, well that is how I do it that is how I just did it and so enough we'll have more cassava so now I'm going to show you me 
showing you the cassava before it was harvested i'm going to show you how much almost 10 pounds plus cassava was harvested the sad thing about the actual harvestation harvesting of the cassava but in the moment of finding out there was cassava on the ground because i just wasn't expecting it the excitement of it i dropped tripod i dropped everything and i just started digging up this thing and it was just so much of excitement i forget to press record and and record anything because it just wasn't i just the excitement was so much because it was my first you know first time trying it and i was like i just dropped that thing now and start digging up cassava but i did happen and i did remember there was just like two more remaining to us too and i just scrape it up so you will just you all will see that um yes so i will try again once this batch come in to do a full video of me harvesting the cassava in that video i do apologize but the excitement was too much with this first batch of cassava and i'm sorry i'm so bad with my hands so i do apologize i was actually doing a workout and for some reason in the middle of doing this workout i remembered that I needed to plant these sticks and then I was like aha let me let me make this video because I remember one of my subscribers asked about me doing that video so I finished my exercise and I just decided to go outside and get that done and bring it to you all so I'm gonna take a bath and then we're going to start cooking what are we going to cook we're going to cook the very said cassava and then we are going to cook some yard fowl this little bird right here why do I call it a yard fowl? Well, we in the Caribbean call these things yard fowl because they're in the yard. They're, they're being reared in the yard, in your yard. Not in a pen, not in anything. And it's more of a, a, a clean way of eating chicken because it is. Because these chicken isn't eating any manufactured um, chicken feed or anything. They are more reared on corn and this type of thing. You know, just corn. Good stuff. Old school stuff. So, yeah. And, and they are really tough. It's a tough, tough bird. So you want to take your time and cook that good. So I'm going to actually cook it in a pressure cooker. I'm going to curry it in a pressure cooker. So to make it easier and make the time go faster. So let's get into the kitchen and let's put this curry chicken, curry yardy together and our homegrown cassava. So you want to make sure that this side is up so you have a flat area this is where the new leaves you can see them coming in here <laughs> so this side is going to be up because that's where the leaves is going to come from and you want to put the side that wasn't in the ground before in the ground this time so this is the side that was in so we're going to use this side this time all right so i'm going to do that quickly So the memory card got full so i had to go and change it and come back so i finished Check out this. Okay, 
so this patch here was previously digged up on the 31st where I wanted to replant some and those were the first patch that I have that I replanted and I didn't get chance to get the camera because I was so excited so that's that back to group but the ones that you don't see flowers was digged up on the 31st and replanted so this is what was um, bl blessed upon me on the 31st <laughs> I got almost 10 pounds of cassava. I'm not exaggerating and really soft and nice. Oh my gosh. So now I am going to prepare this cassava with some Olia's Night um, Yard Fall because I didn't cook black eyed peas for Olia's Night. I cook a yard fall. And these, I'm going to use the ripe banana to make some extracts. So let's go. So yeah, guys, this is all of the cassava that was taken up on the 31st of December 2020. This was last year. That was yesterday. <laughs> all right. So yeah, let me just show you how... In Trini, most of us learn to clean this. So after cutting out that, you wanna start from on top here and you want to go in a swirling motion till you reach down, right? And then you're gonna cut not cut but it will more or less peel off you see how easy it will peel off and this is fresh cassava so it's peeling off really easily look at that one pull and it helps also because it's really fresh produce yeah and i'll just cut off the ends there and i'll cut this to my desired size for boiling or for putting away in the refrigerator so i'm going to continue and when i'm done i'm going to come back with washing them and putting them on the fire to boil to go with the curry yard fowl that i cooked um all year's night i didn't feel to cook as i said in my cocktail drink i didn't feel to cook the black eye piece thing i'm not a lover of the black eye piece thing that thing hasn't bring me anything extra any time that i have cooked for any year that i have cooked it <laughs> so i decided you know what i'm going to make that yard for like curry that down goody good 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 and it was some goody good good goodness with some fresh coconut bake that i had last night and i have some for today so that's what i'm going to use for this cassava so I'm going to come back with it when I'm finished peeling. Alrighty. Happy New Year. So I'm finished peeling and I'm going to cook some and the rest I'm going to refrigerate for a later time. I just placed enough water just to cover it, not to drown it. Alright. So I'm going to put some salt in that. Also, as I said, my overly ripe banana, the skin, I am going to use for a non-alcoholic um, banana extract and the banana itself I'm going to use some alcohol and make some alcohol extract with that banana so look out for those two recipes right those two banana extract recipes so now as I mentioned I just placed enough water to cover the uh, cassava and I'm gonna let it cook so soft but at this point I decided it was to take it off because it was getting so soft it started mashing up in the pot then i have my yard fowl and if you want to learn how i cook this yard fowl the link would be in the cards above you won't regret trying this curry it is really good really good and i as i mentioned i had the cassava with the yard fowl that i cooked for all year's night because i decided not to do the pigeon peas thing because that thing never worked for me i have never seen anything special happening year after year trying that so i tried something new let's see what this fowl would do for me you know you could never tell ladies and gentlemen it's always good to do your own thing at home you know what you're eating you know what you're putting in your body especially if you're on a healthy lifestyle journey so thanks so much for watching have a blessed one bye Deep in the shadows
I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. 